Welcome back to Laura and Lori's cooking show. I know it's been like a year. Um, actually, we had a foster boy that had come to our house and he was here almost two years and we did videotape when we first got him, but then we found the distractions were just too distracting. So um, we had stopped our videos, but now he has gone back to his mom, right? Yeah, and I love the two right here. And she lost a tooth also, all through this lovely COVID-19 um, state of affairs. So anyway, we are back and um, the first recipe we want to show you how to make what? is very simple and easy. Okay, and what's it called? Um, squash. Spaghetti. Spaghetti squash. Au gratin. Spaghetti squash au gratin. And yes, it is keto. It's so, really come on over and we'll show you everything that's in there. Here's some green and cheese, and here's some... Sour cream. Some cream, and here... Thyme. Thyme, and... Red pepper. Red pepper. And... Green. Onion. Onions. And... Butter. Butter. Okay, so first you need two tablespoons of butter. And you're going to let it melt, and you're going to add the onions. And we're going to saute them. And while they're sauteing, Laura's going to finish shredding the spaghetti squash and putting it in the bowl. Yep. Okay. You know how to do it? Yes. Here. Now, this was a medium to a large spaghetti squash we used. Um, a medium is fine, though. We just happen to get a little bit of a bigger one. We love squash here, so. I'm just going to stick all that in there. And then we're going to add these ingredients. Here. I know it's sort of hard when you get down to the bottom, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to add the ingredients. Add, not this one, but we're going to add this half of a cup of sharp cheddar cheese. Stick it on it. Okay. Um, and then we're going to add. Can you do it? Now? Here. We're going to add. Wait a minute, dear. We're going to, let's put everything in first, okay? Yeah. Then we'll mix it. We're going to add one teaspoon of thyme. Thyme. There, you stick that in there. Hey, Mom. You want to make sure you don't put too much because thyme is a very strong spice. Yeah. And then we are going to use. A fourth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And get in there. Okay. Now, if you like it spicy, you can add more. Um, we're going to sort of stick with one fourth teaspoon. And then we're going to add in there a half of a cup of sour cream. You want to stick that in there? There you go. Hi, my name is Lori and this is Laura. Mm -hmm. And we have a cooking show called Lori and Laura. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you would like to watch our videos, if you could subscribe up here. And if you like what you see, then down here is the links to watch more videos. We hope you like it and uh, are entertained. Have a good day. Okay, so Laura's mixing up those ingredients, uh, the sour cream, the cheddar cheese, the crushed red pepper, and the thyme. She's mixing all that up. In the meantime, we have the onions that just got done sauteing to a really nice golden brown and we are going to be adding them in with the spaghetti squash. So we got the onion in there and she is mixing it up. And then after it's done being mixed up, we're putting it in a 9 by 13 inch buttered dish. Okay, she's got it pretty much mixed up, okay. Let's put it in the bowl. Mm hmm.
Okay, so we've got it mixed. We've got it in the pan. And now we have another fourth of a cup of sharp shredded cheese. And my daughter is going to sprinkle it on top carefully. You broke your goggles? Yeah. Yes, the last time we were at the water park, you broke and, your goggles. And my mom gave me a new pair. What? I got you a new pair. Mm -hmm. But I'm summer today. So, I so excited. So, my. You're excited about your new goggles? Yeah. And I opened today. I opened my new goggles today. Hey, put some over here, huh? Put some over in that corner. Okay? All right. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. All right, so here you go. If you want to put a little bit of salt and pepper in it, you can. Um, we try not to use too much sodium in this house. So, of course, that's your preference. And now we're going to put it in the oven, 375 and at 18 minutes, uncovered. Just to get it nice and brown. And we'll be back shortly. Okay, time's up, and take this now, and you um, taste this, and I'm going to try it. You're going to try it? Are we taste testing now? Yeah. Okay, let's see if it's done. I actually ended up keeping it in about 22 minutes, just to let everyone know. 18 appeared Super to be... Yummy! 18 appeared not to be long enough. Let me put it over here. And if you wanted a little more brown or crunchy, you could for sure keep it in even a few more minutes than that. Turn off the stove here. All right, we have our taste tester here. We started out videoing when she was three. And now she is... Five! She is five. So, next, um, her taste buds, uh, luckily are still good in that she likes healthy stuff. So that's a plus for and, mom and dad. And yummy snack. Okay. So here we go. <clears throat> we'll let it cool a little bit, and then she's going to tell you whether or not it is good. Okay, go ahead. I think it's cool enough now. Go ahead. Wait, honey, you don't have to cut it. <laughs> Just take a little bite. Ah, oh, thumbs up. So, spaghetti squash au gratin. Very easy to make. Will go really good with uh, grilled meat or um, maybe even a meatloaf and, or and, something else and that you want to cook. my book. Um, um, hear me. She's, she's showing you her cookbook that she got a couple years ago. From her godmother. Her godmother had this made for her. And inside has a lot of recipes. And we may even try a few of them on our cooking show one day, right? Mm -hmm. But for right now, we're going to say bon appetit. We're glad you joined us. We hope you join us and again. Look, we're sorry wait. for the long furlough. But and hopefully here. we'll be back up and Here's running uh, quite regularly. God bless you guys. Until next time. Ooh.